He goes by the name of Mark. I want you to show love and put your hands together for Mark, ladies and gentlemen. I always say that I remember Ace when he was like only like five foot two, 75 pounds. <laughs> Elevator man. All right. Um, I'm gonna do two pieces for y'all. One on a little bit serious tip, and I'm gonna try to lighten it up for you. Afterwards, um, I saw this story once about a guy who was serving life in jail for killing his father. This is why. When I was born, I was held by the hands of a woman scorned. I was never forewarned of the pain my eyes would endure that would scar my heart forevermore. You see, I apologize on behalf of my folks for creating a man whose heart turns cold at the side of abuse or love's misuse. I have a narrow view on relationships misconstrued by the things my dad would do. Like, I learned the meaning of rape at a premature mind state. My mom's voice filled with hate as she screamed, please the mercy which only made in my rape. Hearing sounds of sex for the faces or continuously crawling around shattered days to see. At the age of three, I was amazed by the things my eyes would see. Like my mom being beat, being knocked off her feet, and she screamed, please don't hit me. He stole my fucking child, but there's nothing else you can strip from me. See, instead of learning my ABCs, I was learning how to bring a woman to her knees in defeat. I was learning how to cheat. I learned how to beat. I learned the one way to be a chauvinistic. Following my dad's footsteps, footsteps to being a blast statistic, see, I learned one way to escape life's some pleasantries. First by marijuana and Hennessy, then later on the coke and speed. All this embedded in me before the age of three. I never had a mom and a sister, just a bitch and a hoe. Mm. I was never a man but a bum nigga, yo, see, none of my other kin folks know the things that I know or maybe they do, but like me, they're confused. Why? Why did I have to be put to such abuse? Instead of learning the meaning of truths, I learned how to use this. And this turned to this. See, compassion wasn't on the list of aggression and hate. An animalistic mind state, indifference to my own race. Every time I see my mother's face, my every time I see my mother's face, my anger turns to hate over horrific abate. I just don't understand. How can a man claim to love a woman enough to raise his hand just because she refused to obey his commands? That don't make you no man. He didn't need to live. This savage, false definition of a man didn't need to exist, so I took the weapons he equipped me with. I grabbed that gun here behind the fridge, loaded in two bullets, and waited. Yeah, I knew the routine. He came in about 11 o'clock, drunk, filling the air with alcohol and body funk, flask in his back pocket, riffling before the key even enters the socket. Staggering as he enters, ranting, asking for his dinner, and then starts to complain about how the house ain't clean enough, how the chicken ain't tender enough, how the greens ain't steamed enough, how the cool ain't sweet enough. God damn it, I see just about enough. He cursed her, he grabbed her, he raised his hand to slap her, and on his way down, I pulled the trigger. Yeah, that's right, I killed that bastard nigga, and those tears I cried were tears of joy, but I shall fear no more. I shall fear no more behind these four walls. I shall fear no more behind these four walls and penitentiary bars, but I know one thing. Mama ain't cry no more. Go, Mark! Go, Mark! That's an emotional piece for me right there. Like, I, I haven't been through that, but. If anybody has ever been a victim, you don't gotta be the person being abused to be a victim of yourself. Try to lighten it up a little bit. This might be a little controversial. Somebody talked about a bad breakup that they go through and how relationships are bad and stuff like that. There's always two sides to every story. They are bad, though. They are bad. But, try to explain something. Just tell you my side of this. This is for the ladies, though. Ladies, I love you. Believe me, I do, but you need to stop blaming men for some of the shit that you do. See, not every result in that fragile heart of yours has been the result of violence cues. I challenge you to take a look at yourself and see how you contributed to it. Now, I need you to understand I'm being the least bit chauvinistic when I, also say, when I say that you also had a part to play and you becoming a statistic. 
and join the global race of women who also made similar mistakes, who should have seen, easily seen the warning sign and spare themselves the heartache. Now I understand. Men have also have a lot to do with your heartbreaks, but there are times that you don't use your mind but follow the wrong decisions your heart makes. Wearing emotions on your sleeve, logic you tend to leave, leave behind, you disregard the obvious signs, walking as if you're blind. Sorry, I ain't got this memorized for yet. <laughs> Wearing emotions on your sleeve, logic you leave behind, you disregard the obvious signs, walking as if you're blind. Now, we all know the saying that you are what you eat, which leads me to the notion as long as, long as you keep feeding into this bullshit notion that all men are dogs, then self-examination is needed to define what that makes y'all. See, a character check I believe is long overdue. Ever thought the problems may begin and end with you? Now pick your joke off the floor and understand what I'm saying, because remember, it takes two in this game that we're playing. Now, this ain't no dissertation to explain how to keep a man, but I need y'all to understand that it's time that you switch up your game plan. Let's change the focus a little bit and change start to think a little bit like men. You say you've been through it so much before, you should know it's real from pretend. Now some of it boils down to the simple common sense. Now allow yourself to go through the same bullshit time and time again. Never fixing the playing field, but only changing the players. Always repeating a cycle to be hurt a few years later. Now, you'll never understand true love if you don't understand this, that a man's true intentions can be disguised by the smooth words from his lips, materialistic shits, or the size of his dick. Y'all girls get caught up real quick in all that quote unquote good shit. Fail to notice that to him you were just a good quickie. Now, it doesn't apply to you all, but to some it may strike the nerve. But all I'm really telling you women is to step back and observe that there may be another reason that you go through the things that you do, because sometimes the problem may begin and end with you. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs>